All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be build update number one on my three racing Sakura D3 CS Sport. Uh, this is a uh, pretty much 100% dedicated drift car. Uh, this is uh, what they consider a counter steer version, so it's not going to have a 50 50 gear ratio from front to rear. So uh, as I start showing you some of the uh, specifics of this vehicle, you'll definitely notice that there's definitely some bias uh, towards the rear and making it spin a little bit faster than the front. So um, all in all, I, I mean, I picked this up from Asia Tees. I paid $105 uh, with free shipping, which I'm still trying to uh, wrap my, my mind around because uh, for such an inexpensive kit, you actually get some pretty cool stuff with this, not to mention uh, some of the technology behind the uh, counter steer concept. So, um, so far I'm about an hour and a half, almost two hours into the build. And, uh, you know, the, the biggest uh, uh, thing that I've been trying to get through is uh, some of the owner's manual instruction, a uh, little bit uh, shaky from here to there, but as long as you pay attention, which I'm about uh, one and a half rock stars uh, into this build so far, so uh, I, I need to, you know, wrap my, my brain around, uh, you know, the orientation of certain parts and whatnot. So, uh, but all in all, so far the build has went very well. Um, as far as negatives that I've seen, uh, there's not a whole lot. I mean, there was a little bit of confusion as far as the instruction manual, as far as what bag is what step, and I'll show you here. Um, I love when companies do bag one, step one, bag two, step two. Um, however, uh, once I started getting into the uh, D3 kit here, you know, step one, great, it says bag one. When you get over to step one again, you need to open bag one and bag two. Step two here, you need bag two. Great. Then I get over to this step, step three, bag three. All right, we're on a roll here. Well, I get to step four, and I need to find parts from bags one, four, and five. So um, I kept having parts left over from certain bins, and, you know, uh, that bag two which I didn't use, uh, it still have parts from it. And then we're bag one, four, and five. Uh, now we're in bag three for step five. So a little bit of confusion, confusion there, but as long as you uh, pay attention, you pretty much can uh, kind of get through the build. Now, one thing I did want to mention uh, as far as the parts quality, uh, the plastic parts are great. Um, they're very, very stiff. Um, you will be using your... Uh, hobby knife to cut off any flashing and some parts that I did find um, they were already kind of detached from the trees and you know you have to kind of look for the flashing you know when you're pulling it from the tree you know exactly where the flashing is but anyway so um, as far as the metal parts or aluminum parts very good quality I can't complain at all uh, the screw kit on this all hex screws uh, so far the majority are going to be 2.0 you will have a couple of 1.5s, and just some of the large turnbuckles or the the ball ends here will use a 2.5. So, uh, but you know the hardware is awesome so far. I'm so thankful that there isn't any uh, Phillips hardware. So, uh, definitely thankful for that. As far as aluminum upgrades so far on the build, uh, you just have a couple of um, kind of risers right here. You see that pink anodized uh, part, and then of course the motor mount up here which is that classic uh, cherry blossom cover or color is what I've uh, uncovered here at the RC Network. So, um, but all in all, pretty good build so far. You know, you have a plastic chassis, kind of a tub chassis. Um, this top brace here is actually some sort of reinforced uh, carbon uh, without the carbon look. So it does have layers and it's definitely a different feel uh, from the plastic. So uh, nice to see that slight upgrade. Um, all of the metal parts, great. You have the repositioning of the front and rear diff right there with many different uh, um, you know, positions. Uh, as far as the counter steer, now you're gonna notice a very small gear in the rear. And then when we go up front here, you'll see a very large gear in that front there. I kind of have my 
belt blocking that right now, but you'll see that. So uh, you'll see as we start uh, getting this thing together, you'll see definitely uh, different gearing, especially if you've owned a Sprint 2 in the past. Uh, a Sprint 2 uses the same size front and rear diff, and then also the same size for the center uh, front and rear pulley. So uh, with this uh, Sakura, you're going to actually use all different sorts of uh, uh, pulleys to obtain that counter steer. So, well, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this update of my three racing Sakura D3 counter steer sport. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying uh, building this thing together, and hopefully you guys are too. If you have any questions about the build, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.